One of the biggest challenges for teachers and students, uh, and really anybody that uses the internet, is uh, how to know if it's okay from a legal standpoint, from a copyright standpoint, to use what they're finding online. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use Google Search to find resources that specifically are licensed in a way that you can feel safe in using them and feel like you're not violating copyright law. Um, so first of all, let me explain that you're going to need to use Google Advanced Search. And if you notice, some genius software engineer decided that mm, that was just too cluttery to keep on the Google home page. Decided that several months ago. So how do we find it? Well, let's find out. Let's search for dog, for instance. So I look down here at dog and I get 1.16 billion results, which I can be really confident uh, that the vast majority are strictly copyrighted and I don't have explicit permission to use them. So where is that advanced search? Well, what I need to do is scroll to the bottom of the page. And over here, under the G in Google at the bottom, I can see advanced search is hiding right there. If I click advanced search, I get the very familiar advanced search screen. To those of us that have been using Google a while, this hasn't changed much. Notice the second half here. Narrow your results by, and I want you to go to the bottom and you'll see usage rights. That's the key thing. Notice the default is not filtered by license. In other words, it's going to show everything there is out there on the internet that relates to your search term. If I click the drop down menu, or pop up in this case, I get these options. Free to use or share is the very first one. Ah, that sounds like what we're looking for. And notice there's some specific modifiers here, like even commercially, or I can use, share, or modify. In other words, I can change the content. But in this case, I'm just going to go with free to use or share and continue my search. And what I get is a list of results that is specifically filtered by my right to use that, uh, not however I wish, but to use it, for example, in my school projects and things like that with the reasonable expectation that I'm not going to trouble with the copyright. Also, it doesn't exempt, should be noted, it doesn't exempt me from citing the, the resource. I still need to do that, but I know that they've given me permission to use it. Now, the image search, on the other hand, is a little different. I'm going to search for dog in. And you notice, again, I need to get to advanced search because all of these images are, uh, I don't have any way of knowing whether they're copyrighted or not. Now, this is kind of really where it gets silly. But I have to scroll all the way back down to the bottom, and I have to find this where it says switch to basic version. Click that, and then I can scroll to the bottom yet again, and there's that familiar advanced search. I do the exact same process, find usage rights, select free to use or share, do my advanced search, and it's narrowed down my dog results quite a bit. So these are ones that whoever created the picture, drew the drawing, took the photograph, has said you can use these in your products. So I hope this helps uh, kind of demystify some of the copyright uh, quandaries that you face as you go online searching for images or resource uh, resources. Use these techniques, using these techniques will get you to resources that you can feel like that are safe and responsible uh, uh, for using in your school projects, in your class presentations, whatever it might be.